So Adelaide friends, the Chaos Warrior here, back with another video. This time focusing on the subject of online offensive comment and the new trend which is upsetting those in libtard bubble land, namely hashtag boring. Hashtag boring is something which is in its infancy but already causing a real panic amongst liberal celebrities online. And in one case even resulted in a friend of mine who was a film reviewer and whom has worked alongside Gary Slaymaker on various projects and presentations, being permanently banned from the Rotten Tomatoes website after posting negative re reviews about the Terry Girls and This Country comedy shows. Nicola Cochlan, who recently had a spat with the Daily Mirror about a photograph of her taken at an awards ceremony over the way she dressed, and incidentally props to this publication because she did actually look like a constipated flump, begged the site admins at Rotten Tomatoes to have his negative re review of Derry Girls, which contained the word boring, removed. Any piece of produced media, from this video, to a TV show, to a film epic, is always going to face criticism and scrutiny. And yes, there are some trolls out there who will rubbish absolutely anything just for the sake of being annoying. However, nuanced and fair criticism is never a bad thing. It acts, or it should act, as a way for you to improve your output and maybe to think about how to do things better. Take a footballer like Gareth Bale, for example. If Gareth Bale doesn't try hard during training, and he's unmotivated and takes little interest in developing his physical and mental core, then ultimately he'll get dropped by his team and he'll have to find employment elsewhere. Just like Gareth Bale, us YouTubers all need to be at the top of our game and to be able to create uh, creative and entertaining videos, otherwise we will all fall by the digital wayside. In response to criticism about Derry Girls, 30-something year old Nicola, and there's a joke here about Channel 4 being interested in older people dressing up school children, but I digress. Recently mentioned on Twitter that as Derry Girls has a viewership of around 3 million for Series 2, they deserved all the praise and accolades under the sun. Three million people watching a TV show is hardly anything to cheer about these days when you consider just how many viewers PewDiePie gets for one video. PewDiePie is edgy and makes fun and entertaining content. Look at Bitch Lasagna, 90 million views I believe. It's something that the TV uh, people and the mainstream just cannot get their head around. That someone like PewDiePie can get 90 million views. I mean, these are figures that are unreal to them. No wonder they want rid of him. If hearing somebody say that your content is boring, and I quote a tweet from Nicola Cochran, when she said, nothing more than sad lifeless people attempting to bully me, then really you need to rethink your whole attitude. Nicola, no one is bullying you. Nobody in the world is above criticism. The Queen, the Pope, President Trump. And when people will not swallow the rhetoric or fawn or bestow fake praise upon you, then it's tough. Toughen up and do better next time, as my old games teacher used to say when I came into the changing rooms, or battered a bruise after a game of rugby. Also, demanding that any website which portrays you even slightly negatively just shows up ultimately sad, pathetic and fragile you are. Grow up, stop being a jellyfish and get a spine. Let's face it, most TV is boring when you consider the quality of years ago. Morgan Wise, Hale and Pace, the two Ronnies, you know, Cook and Moore, George Carlin, that's just comedy alone. Harry Enfield, what have we got now? Another comment which is in its infancy, but which may soon be banned if too many of the snowflakes are offended, is hashtag squonk. Now you may be asking, what the heck is a squonk? Well, a squonk is a mythical creature native to Newfoundland, Canada, which hides away from most other species due to the fact that it is intensely ugly and when called by hunters dissolves into a pool of tears. Now who do you know who are exactly like that? Ugly people who hide away and when confronted dissolve into a pool of tears. Incidentally, Genesis had a song called Squonk on their 1976 album, A Trick of the Tale. It's well worth a listen if you like uh, progressive music. We've already had Operation Honkler, 
So maybe now it's time for Operation Squonkler. Sadly, friends. <laughs>